Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Discovery Church. Those of you who are in the hall, we want to invite you all to come on in and, <clears throat> and have a seat with us. If you're watching online, we want to say welcome. In order for us to communicate, to connect, and to have a relationship with those of you online, just say hello in the comment section. We'd love to say hi back. And if you have any prayer requests, don't be shy. You can send them to us through the comment section. We'll get a hold of them later on sometime this week. Uh, for the rest of us, why don't you join me uh, in just, well, I'm going to share with you a few announcements of things that are going on at church, and uh, you're going to be excited because today's announcements are amazing. First of all, uh, the amazing news that we have a text in church app. Uh, some of you went, well, I hate that dumb thing. It bothers me all the time. But it's probably one of the most effective ways that I get information to you. I posted on my Facebook page this week that pastors, we always hear I never heard about this event. Never mind that we texted you, we sent you an email, I preached about it for three weeks, and there was announcements, but uh, for some reason, people didn't get the information. Uh, texting in church is probably one of the easiest ways for me to get information to you. So if you want to be part of it, just text the word welcome to that number, and you'll be part of the information network. Uh, the next one is about installation or uh, is about elder nominations. We are looking for some nominations from the congregation for elder. Uh, being an elder is a is a responsibility, but uh, without elders, we don't have good spiritual guidance for the church. So it's really important that we receive from you recommendations from the people that are around you. The condition for becoming an elder, obviously, is there some character things. You think these people are of good character. They have a good spiritual life, and they're members of Discovery Church. Those are the requirements to become an elder. But one of the most important ones is that this person gets us as a church. They, they just understand what we're doing and, and why we're doing it. So it's really important that you consider, especially if you're online, take a minute and send us an email to elders, plural. The word elder is plural, uh, elders at discoverychurch.ca, so that we can uh, proceed with some nominations. Um, we, we just need that from you in the next week or so because we want to send out some information in the next week or at the, at the week following. So <clears throat> coming up is a prayer service. Every week we do a prayer service. Once again, this week, uh, we were uh, inundated with prayer requests. Uh, literally 14, 15 people texted me saying, please pray for this. Uh, in addition to our prayer requests that we have at church, in addition to the 10 people who are there online praying for you, and praying together, it's a really important ministry for us as a church. It's live on Facebook every Thursday night at 7.30. And we are going to be continuing to worship here for a couple more weeks. Uh, we'll be doing thing, broadcasting live from this location. We're going to be having DC Kids and DC Tots today. And so we're encouraging you to send your kids there during the service. But here's the big news. Coming up, we are moving Sunday, November 20. Yeah to Hampton United. So uh, take, take note of the 9.30 service time slot. That's a big change for us. We're, we're at 10.30, but now it's going to 9.30. And uh, uh, we have this lovely building that we get uh, use of all week long as well as on Sundays. So we can do some programming during the week from that location. And we can uh, do practices there if we needed to. We can do worship nights there. It just gives us a place out of which we can do ministry for a long period of time. So just really excited about the move. What that requires is that we've got to get all of our stuff out of here and move it out to Hampton. So if a couple of you have some time on the 19th, the Saturday the 19th, uh, we're going to move our stuff over there and kind of set it up to be permanent. Guess what? That means no setup. Well, a little bit of setup. Just a little bit of setup. They all, they all do that to me. You can't say there's no setup. Well, in any church, there's a little bit of setup on a Sunday morning. <laughs> but not like we've been doing over the last 16 years. So uh, we're going to be permanently set up in that space, which will be awesome. Sunday school's set up. Kitchen's already set up. Uh, the sanctuary space, yes, we've got to put out chairs. And yes, we've got to connect mus musical instruments. But... That's it. We, don't have, we can leave the speakers. We can leave the sound equipment all set up, which is wonderful. Yeah, it is great. They are, they are allowing us access to all of their space, five classrooms in addition to the worshiping space. So uh, I'm doing this new beginnings class. If you're interested in becoming a member of Discovery Church, if you want to do your profession of faith or get baptized, 
uh, we would love for you to participate with New Beginnings. I already have two people interested, so I'm going to run the course starting on November 15, which will be on Tuesday nights. Thank you. Uh, Tuesday nights for four weeks. Somebody, I was thinking Wednesday, but no, it was just Tuesday. So uh, if you're interested, please let me know if you want to become a member or get baptized or you do your profession of faith. And we just want to say a big congratulations to Darren and Carissa and again to Pat and Carrie on their wedding this past month. It's been really great. Uh, we got to see some honeymoon pictures. Some of you maybe saw some of Darren and Chris's honeymoon pictures and wedding pictures and Carrie and Pat looking so proud uh, after the wedding. Uh, big smiles. We're just really grateful that we were able to be part of both of those ceremonies this week. If you've been trying to get hold of Janet, our office admin, our pastoral care leader, she's off in England until tomorrow, right, Wayne? Yeah. And so she'll be back in the office uh, this week. Uh, if you need anything from the pastoral care team, just contact myself or one of the pastoral care team members, Sharon, uh, Craig, and Janet and myself. Right. There we go. Uh, last announcement here is Clarington Youth. We want to make sure that you... Uh, uh, if you have kids in the high school age, that youth group um, uh, carved 30 pumpkins for our pumpkin walk this past week, which was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks to Leanna for heading the whole thing up. Uh, she was the one. No, she wasn't. <laughs> you assisted. You, you're like, hand me the scalpel. You know? <laughs> she was a surgical assistant for all of the faces and stuff on the. You did your own too. Okay. <laughs> Our offering for Discovery Church, if you give today, 10% of what you give will go to other ministries. We want to be a blessing to other people. And as much as we're asking you to consider tithing, we want to model that as a church too by tithing as well. So 10% of what you give, we give away. And we're going to give that to the Clarington East Food Bank and the Salvation Army Food Bank this month, along with the, all the food that we collected at the Pumpkin Walk and the big food drive that's coming up in November. So we're just really excited about that. And uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all those people who helped us with the Fun Fall Pumpkin Walk. Um, I didn't uh, prep you for this, AJ, but you want to come up here and share with me some stories about